Hi, hello everybody. Welcome back to One Question a Day, another session. Today, we are going to discuss about cementogenesis. Cementogenesis is the process of formation of cementum. So, when the first layer of dentin is formed, the uh, HERS, we are talking about the cementum. So, we have to start from the formation of HERS. In the root formation, when the first layer of dentin is formed, the reduced enamel epithelium that proliferates downwards as the epithelial Hertwig's root sheath or HERS, they start to migrate towards the epical. They proliferate and start to migrate to the proliferation, through proliferation towards the epical regions. And this process slowly starts to initiate the first, the subsequent layers of radicular dentin. The blue color here indicates the radicular dentin and the red, the HERS. So when they start to proliferate and elongate, the HIRS also stimulates the formation of radicular dentin, giving rise to more layers of dentin. This process continues till the epical end. And this process has certain areas of invagination, invagination if it is a multi-rooted tooth, two or three, formation of the cervical constrictions in the loops, giving rise. To. And at this point, the HIRS subsequently undergrows certain areas of breakage by apoptosis. And this breakage exposes the newly formed dentin to the surrounding dental sac. Okay, the ectomy synchymal cells come into contact with the dental follicular sac. And this exposure causes the ectomy synchymal dental sacs to differentiate into cementoblast. And this cementoblast is responsible for the position of cellular cementum. And the HERS cells migrate early to form another kind of different dental, uh, uh, sorry, cementum secreting cells called as acellular cementum. So, cementoblast is essentially from dental follicle or HERS. HERS was a cellular cementum and they do not resemble osteoblast, whereas cellular cementum secreting osteocementoblast resemble osteoblast. The, form, the functions of cementum includes adaptation, anchorage, and repair. The development of cellular cementum happens in two stages, early stage, late stage. And in this early stage, the extrinsic fibers are very few and the intrinsic fibers are randomly arranged. Whereas in the late stage, the extrinsic fibers are thickened, whereas intrinsic fibers encycle the intrinsic fibers, extrinsic fibers. Okay. If when the first layer of dentin is formed, the HERS subsequently release certain molecules like GLA proteins, osteonectin, osteoproteins, and collagens. The osteonectin is responsible for calcifications that stimulates or works with alkaline phosphatase and helps in mineralizations. Whereas osteopontin gives rise to stimentoid or underless mineralized. They form, they initiate the formation and regulate the formation of cementoid materials. Together with alkaline phosphatase, calcium and phosphate deposition happens on the cementoids and get mineralized. And with that, we come to the end of the discussion on cementogenesis. Stay connected with our channel for more detailed question answering sessions. Till then, learn incrementally.